sure somebody from <laughs> wherever this is made is going to be like, the W, which uh -huh. is obviously a W, is pronounced as a Z in my language. Uh -huh. Obviously stupid. It's yes. obviously from <laughs> Belgenia. Yeah. Because it's a Belgian beer. <laughs> oh, let's pop it. Pop it. Ah! Oh, yay. Oh, that smells amazing. Oh, my mm. God. A nice caramely smell to it. Caramely. Hints of banana. Yeah, yeah. Sort there's... of malty. Oh my god. A little bit of tropical fruit here. Okay, this is traditional Belgian special ale. I'm not sure what a special ale is. Yeah. It means it rides the short bus. Full body Belgian specialty ale, amber in color with beautiful foam. Mm -hmm. Slightly sweet, seductive, malt rich. They're oh. right. That is beautiful foam. Satisfying Belgian ale experience, bitch! When you say it like that, it makes me want to beat someone up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the most extreme beer I've ever Rated drank. Uh -huh. exceptional by exceptional people. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Thank you, Anonymous. <laughs> wow. Oh. Ooh, my God. I don't know what that is, but it's amazing. It's that so is smooth. The weirdest tasting perfume I've ever drank. <laughs> yeah. I almost get a taste of red wine. Yeah, it's that. It's it's a little tart. It's a little. It's really buttery. And actually. I'm still getting the cream soda kind of thing, like a little vanilla y flavor in there. There's vanilla notes. I get malty notes, t toffee yeah, notes. Yeah, I'm getting kind of that yeah. weird chocolatey malt flavor. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's crazy how many flavors are in this. Oh, it's very complex. It's not overly sweet, like you would think mm. it would be. Uh, it, it's there's not bitter hasn't even met this beer before. No, no. Like, I, I I I get the the wine flavor there. That, that yeah. second drink, I could taste it. It's kind of like a cabernet almost. Yeah. 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 You're right. Yeah. If cognac tasted the way I wanted it to taste, <laughs> <laughs> then this is what it would taste like. I think out of a lot of the corked bottles that we've had, this is probably one of the better it's, ones. It's very inoffensive. Like, there's no funk happening in, in yeah. this beer at all. Like, I would be willing to buy have. this one again. Like, I, I know you're a fan of, like, the Omegongs and stuff, but mm. it, they don't do it for me. This one, I would actually probably buy again. Like, this mm. one and uh, Duvel, I think, yeah. is the one. Yeah, so, I remember the Duvel. I, yeah, that was yeah, awesome. Those two are my go-to, like, the really strong Belgianese. It's very much like a brownie. It's very much like a like a Newcastle on steroids. Mm, yes, ex it's, that's the underlying mm. flavor I'm getting. God damn it! Thank you. It is. It's very, very Newcastle. Very interesting. Um, a lot of a lot of retracted bitter is from Newcastle. Yeah, but it does taste very brown ale-y. Mm. It's so compelling to me. I'm giving it an eight. See, I was kind of going along that lines. Like, yeah. that kind of I'm going to give it a seven because I couldn't go past more than one bottle mm -hmm. where there is beers, like a Duvel, I could drink yeah, you're right. several bottles of that, mm -hmm. of this size. Mm. I'm saying at least an eight. So eight on that, and my eights out of tens aren't hard to, or I mean, they're very, very hard to come by. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I would I definitely that. say that is a totally, one of the best beers I've had in my life. Next up, we have a La Trappe. <laughs> Quadruple Trappist Ale. La Trappe Ales are made from carefully selected malt and hops and fermented with a strain of yeast unique to Conkenhaven! Yes! Whoa! Uh, I'm smelling a lot more bananas mm -hmm. in this one. Like a... Smell the bananas. <laughs> smell the bananas. <laughs> smell a lot more bananas. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. It's like the less Ooh. refined like sibling or cousin of the quack where it's a, there's sharper flavor happening it's not as smooth uh you can taste the alcohol a lot more in this one yeah. this 10 percent versus eight four that's, yeah that's a lot that's a it's big, still that's a big difference. good but as far as a quadruple goes i've had better quadruples with a little bit more complex like this one's very i want to say one note exactly but there's not a lot happening here. There's a lot more flavors in the quack that it, that you're like jumping around in and this one is like... It's just a funny statement. There's a lot more flavors in the quack. I'll give this one a seven. Ooh, that's ambitious. I have to give this one like a four out of ten. There are some domestics that I would, would enjoy over this beer. I am going to give this a six. 
just because it, I can taste the alcohol in this one, like, I don't know, like, the higher the alcohol, kind of like what he was saying with, like, the steel reserves and stuff, it just fucks with my head, I don't care for it, it gets sweet, and it's just bad. Our last beer, St. Bernardo's. This one comes in at 10%. These exceptional quality <laughs> ales, approved by using only the finest malts, local corn hops, you must have friends. And artesian water, <laughs> pumped from the depths of 500 feet. Whoa. Wow, indeed. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. This one's sharper, but it has a weird flavor. Really? It almost tastes like, it has like a Coke flavor, like a Coca-Cola yeah, yeah. flavor. I was going to say kind of a root beer -y kind of aftertaste. Yeah. I'm not sure what to yeah. think about this beer. I like this one because it has the complex flavor happening in it. Even though it's like super rich and, and uh, alcohol-y like this one was, the flavor behind all that mm. is so like it, it jumps and dances mm -hmm. around. With I like the fact that flavors. The Belgian, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, the Belgian yeast flavor. Mm -hmm. plays into the sweet oh. so yeah the, the Belgian yeast flavor plays into the sweetness of the alcohol <clears throat> yeah exactly mm. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half I will give it an eight I prefer this one over all the other ones mm -hmm. I'm gonna give this beer a six out of ten um, I would definitely prefer it over domestics, and uh, it's it's got a lot of great flavor to it. It's not fantastic, uh, especially with the price, but if you are looking for something with a high alcohol volume, and you do appreciate those kind of beers, then this might be right up your alley. They're all good in their own right, and uh, if you get the if somebody's like handing you, it's like, hey, you here's a taste of this beer. It's like, you're, yeah, you're not gonna turn any of them down. No, good yeah. God, no. These are beers for serious beer connoisseurs. They're not beers for people who you drink just, fucking Pabst all the time. Yeah, decided to spend $15 on a beer. Some good stuff here. Mm -hmm. This has been Grubbin' with Cold Moon. Thank you for watching. Wait, we've been filming? <laughs> what yes. happened? Oh my god. <laughs>